trying to keep this thing together and show that this can be the right answer, even though a couple of years in a row there was inconsistency? Yeah, I think um, at times you saw, I think, what it could be. And obviously, I'd say inconsistency was the biggest theme. And um, so you got to figure out what the why, why the inconsistency, why some weeks, you know, why not others. Um, and it wasn't necessarily just the competition. You know, I think the um, first game that comes to mind is maybe the Lions. Talk about that's a really good team. And, uh, you know, we, we, as an offense, we're able to score points and move the ball effectively and uh, make that a close game at the end. And so I think that you can't say, you know, well, against good defenses, you know, we were we played bad, and bad defenses we were able to score. Um, yeah, so I think it's it starts with uh, really starts with self scouting as a player, because while the coaches are creating the schemes and calling the plays, um, at the end of the day, you know, they can have the perfect play, and if you know someone can't execute a block or uh, make the right cut or uh, make the right reads or catch a pass, you know, none of that matters. So um, I think you got to start start by um, you know, looking, looking at yourself. I think um, there's a, definitely a level of trust with uh, Pete and, you know, speaking about Doug um, with, you know, understanding that we know that they're doing their best for us and uh, vice versa. You know, I hope that they, they know we're doing our best for them. Um, so there is that relationship there. And, you know, hopefully, you know, any, anytime player leaves or a coach leaves, it's a tough, uh, tough situation to overcome. Um, and at times also, you know, a player leaves a team, a uh, coach leaves a team, you know, it could be better days ahead for that player or coach. You know, you, you don't know how that's going to play out. Um, but I think, I think, yeah, at times we saw what it, what it was and how successful it could be. And unfortunately, it wasn't enough. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I would put that more on the player um, than any coach or any scheme that was created because we're the ones out there on Sundays. What did you make of the reaction to y'all's final offensive play of the season, the decision to hand the ball to Jamal instead of taking the knee out of victory formation? Yeah, I think um, surely, you know, probably everyone thinks you're going to kneel it out mm -hmm. and in the game. Um, we wanted to get Jamal a touchdown. It really was on us at the end of the day that it didn't happen before now. Mm -hmm. um, that's very unfortunate, but the type of teammate and, and person and how he worked and the things that went unnoticed for this offense, but were, were vital that he did. Uh, we felt like was was too important, and uh, guys on the field just wanted to see him score. Wanted to, to you know give him that moment if we could, um, and so that's what we decided to do. But kind of overriding the coach, so to say. Do you understand where people would say that kind of looks like a disconnect? Yeah, I do see that 100%. Um, yeah, I 100% I see that. I, I know that how that looks and how that comes off. And I think, you know, it was the people in that huddle that made the decision. And you surely can say that that was a short-sighted decision. I see that too. I hear that argument and that's a valid argument. Um, but in that moment, um, I think the people on the field felt the most important thing was, was to let Jamal score or try to score. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's some, you could probably lead into that and say that, that maybe there's a, like a, a fracture that it shows that maybe there is you know, something bigger that needs to be fixed. W would that be an argument, or do you think that that was just a, like yeah, an isolated I, incident? I, no, I think this incident um, brings up many valid arguments. Um, you know, I think you have to hear them all and understand. And I think, you know, as a player in the huddle, you have to ask yourself, is that the case, or is this just, you know, an incident of um, we're trying to do something for our teammate? And I think that's what it was, and I think the the formation, um, you know, it wasn't meant to be a trick type of situation, even though I do know that's what it looked like. Um, I think that was more of a matter of the time on the clock and the situation, what was what was trying to get ran. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely valid. And I think, um, you know, for my, my opinion on it would just be that it was a decision made very quickly. Uh, it was a very emotional decision. Um, because we were just trying to do something for our teammate and and, uh, and friend, and and hopefully give him a moment of satisfaction that you know we feel like he didn't have, and I think that that's what that decision was. It was an emotional one, you know, made in a, in 30 seconds. James, I just want to be clear though. You're saying valid argument. You're not saying it's valid. There could be 
the division in the locker room. No, no, no. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm definitely saying that the decision wasn't. I don't think the decision to run that play was thought of as a like. Oh, I don't care what someone else told us to do. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think that that was a thought at all. I think that the decision was, hey, Jamal's a great player, great teammate, and uh, that's why the decision was made to hand him the ball. It wasn't meant in any way to undermine or uh, overrule anybody on the field or on the sideline, um, even though that is exactly what it was. But, but yeah, I wasn't, sorry, I wasn't inferring any sort of division or anything like that. Um, no, definitely not, uh, definitely not any sort of uh, mutiny or any other word, um, no, not inferring that at all. I think um, from a player's perspective that was in the huddle, it was just about Jamal. Do you think that that is overshadowed, you know, like a good performance that could be used as a positive going into yeah. the to the off season yeah. because this has become the focal point of what happened? Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, it's going to, you know, people want to ask a lot of questions, rightfully so. Uh, it was a big moment. Um, and... Uh, yeah, big moment for a team and a big game where all we had to do was win. But I think it, um, instead of just celebrating the win, you know, it's, it's going to bring about a lot more questions and, and have people wondering.